everybody. So today, I wanted to well do something a little bit different. Now, I've been watching a lot of like, you know, collecting videos. And so today I thought I'd share my Broadway Playbill collection. Now, as you know, I'm kind of well into, I'm pretty into theater. And well, I'm pretty much involved with it as well. So I thought, hey, why the heck not? Because I got a lot of them. Like, although some of them aren't really from, well, well, Broadway. Some of them are most, like, some of them are usually from some productions. But, yeah. So, why not I show ya? Okay, so the first, first one is Anastasia. So this was, um, I saw this during a Broadway, well, season before the pandemic, you know, hit. But I... I have to say, good show overall. Oh, like, like really? Yes? Okay. Dear Evan Hansen, saw this before the pandemic as well. And I still have um, my ticket. I don't know where my one for Anastasia went, but yeah. Good show. And Jesus Christ Superstar. Yeah, I swear I had the ticket for this one. What happened? Oh, ha, never mind. It, it kind of, it fell in the, it, I thought it fell for a minute. And, okay, now this one, my stepfather actually introduced me to this one. Man of La Mancha. So, um, story, the story behind this is, well, um, one day I guess he was uh, on the internet and he, uh, somehow found that, um, this musical was, um, playing, um, you know, this musical was playing near the, near, near our house. And so I thought, so he thought, you know, taking us, cause apparently he's heard this story, I guess, since he was a child, I think. Like, I guess it was like his mother's favorite story. I'm not sure. Maybe I remember. Maybe that's what I remember hearing from him. And also, I never even heard of this musical until, like, until I learned it from him. Because, because it, I feel like it's very underrated. Because I've never heard anyone in the theater talk about this show. But if you never heard of it, totally recommend you check it out. So, yeah. Okay, so I got four of these. And these are actually from a production I was in. Joseph in the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. A production I was in, of course. First production, to be exact. Exact. Well, and of course, well, me and my mom kept these because, hey, why the heck not? I mean, these would be like, you know, a nice memory from the show. Oh, and this one, this was actually the first, first show I ever saw on Broadway. The Lion King. I saw this on... I saw this in New York for my 16th birthday. First time going to New York, by the way. And, well, my grandmother, you know, got us tickets to go see it. And, um, by the, after the show, we actually met up with, uh, one of the actors who played, I guess, uh, the lead hyena. And, um, he gave us a tour backstage. I'd say, cool experience. And, last one from a production as well. Beauty and the Beast. So, um... My mom, so a friend of my mom, you know, um, took somehow, um, invited me and her to, like, go see this with her and, I guess, another friend, and, um, it was pretty good. I, I, I enjoyed it. I mean, I mean, it was, sure it was a school production, but, hey, what do you expect? So, that's all of, like, you know, all I have. Maybe, maybe once the pandemic closes, I'll is over I'll probably maybe get more I'll probably get more like I'll maybe make an update update like I'll get more like I might get more of these I mean because we plan we do plan on doing the next Broadway season you know for next year because but we were only managed we only managed to see three shows for this Broadway season because of the pandemic after before the pandemic I mean so yeah so anyway, thank you guys for watching.